Welcome, welcome! I'm Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy, bringing you another Star Citizen video. And today's video is all about uh, Professions of the Verse again, and today's part six, data running. So in the game right now, we have two ships that are listed as data runners: the Herald and the Mercury Star Runner. Uh, the Herald is made by Drake. It's small, armored, and is designed to safely get information from point A to point B. Uh, it features a powerful central engine for high-speed uh, transit and generates uh, power needed for effective data encryption and containment. Uh, the advanced encryption software that it has and the armored computer core make the Herald unique among personal spacecraft uh, in that it's designed to be easily cleaned with quotes when in danger or capture. Uh, so the Herald itself is a quite a tiny ship. Um, it's got some pretty interesting statistics. So it's about 23 and a half meters long, uh, 12 and a half meters wide, and nine meters tall. So it's not one of the biggest ships, but it's definitely not the smallest ship. Um, the thing also sports a small radar, a small computer, two small fuel intakes, fuel tanks, and a small quantum drive, as well as a small jump module and a quantum fuel tank. So all the components are small, uh, but it does come with two fuel tanks and fuel intakes. Uh, the main thrusters, it has four. It's got the two big main ones and then two retro thrusters, and then it also has 14 fixed maneuvering thrusters. Um, so it's not going to be the most maneuverable, but it's going to be super fast in a straight line. Um, right now, the speed, SEM speed, is 235 meters a second, and the afterburner speed is 1360. So it's pretty quick. Uh, as far as systems, it's got a small power plant, uh, two small heat safe coolers, and two small shimmer shield generators. These are all stealth components. Uh, designed to keep your signature low so that you can hide out wherever you're at to collect the information that you're trying to get. Weaponry. Um, the weaponry that's listed on the ship matrix is not what it has in the game right now. It lists two Badger laser repeaters and uh, one size two bull... I'm sorry, two size one bulldogs as its weaponry, but in the game itself you'll see that it has something quite different it's got three scorpion uh, Gatlin guns um, that is part of the whole stealth idea the Gatlin guns don't produce as much heat and therefore it's stealthier so that's why they're on there instead of what the ship matrix page says uh, it is what it is so this ship is designed to sit stealthily collect the information from range, and get the heck out uh, as quick as possible. Heralds will probably also be used as info runners for like news broadcasts and that sort of thing, or messenger ships. So they'll jump from one jump point to another and then broadcast that information uh, so that other people in another system can get it. Now the Mercury Star Runner is on sale right now, and it's actually the other ship that we're going to talk about. Really cool ship designed by Crusader. It checks all the boxes uh, expected of a dependable courier vessel and then some. If you need it, they are fast and unscathed. You can't do better than the Mercury. It's built with the same engineering and design principles that made Crusader the go-to manufacturer for galactic transport on any scale. The Star Runner, Runner chassis sets new standards for data and cargo conveyance. So right now, it's listed at 215 SEM speed and 1,050 afterburner speed. I imagine that'll probably change. That's on the ship matrix page. It's got medium avionics, uh, like a medium radar, and five medium computers. So it's much more compute capacity than the Herald has. Uh, also, all medium specs on propulsion. Uh, it's actually got two medium fuel tanks, two uh, medium fuel intakes, and two medium quantum fuel tanks. So it has the ability to go much further than the Herald does. Uh, main thrusters, it's got four VTOL, four retro, four main, or three main, eight gimbaled maneuvering, and four fixed maneuvering. 
And then on the systems, it's got two medium power plants, two medium coolers, and two medium shield generators. So it's going to be pretty decent ship. It'll be able to hold its own, and it'll be able to get out of dodge when you need to. It's got two size two gimbaled laser repeaters, uh, and it's also got a turret, two turrets with size two laser repeaters, and then it's got a suite of missiles. <clears throat> so the Mercury Star Runner right now being on sale for about $225, uh, it's, it's, it's during the Valentine's sale right now. It's a really cool looking ship. They actually just released more information about it uh, in the, this last week's um, episode of uh, Star Citizen Live. They went through all the iterations uh, and pictures of what it looked like as they finally decided on the asymmetrical design. I think it really showcases Crusader as a company as far as the look and feel of it. Right now I'm going to show you the Herald in the hangar and a little bit in the game, but uh, the Star Runner is just such a cool ship. <clears throat> now there aren't any other data running ships in the game at the moment or in the future. Uh, maybe they will do a large data running ship. I, I don't really know. Um, I don't know if maybe the Endeavor can have a module that does that. That would be interesting. But as of right now, those are the only two ships that are listed as data running ships. Uh, and the Mercury won't be in the game until 4.1. Although they have gone, they've, they've come a long ways on it already. It looks pretty neat. Uh, it's going to have uh, a, an extensive ventilation system for cargo smuggling, for getting from one room to another, or being able to escape if you get boarded. Uh, the ship is very much designed to defend in case of a boarding, so you should have a lot of choke points, a lot of uh, points that you can retreat from and get out of the ship if you need to when boarders come aboard. Um, so it's going to be a really cool ship. It's definitely designed for multiple people. Um, let me see how many people it's designed for. It, it says two people minimum crew and a three maximum crew. I think you're going to be able to fit more people on it. Uh, I don't know. It's 40 meters long, 38 meters wide, and 11 meters tall. So it's not super huge. But think, think maybe in terms of a constellation. It's going to be kind of that size, uh, at least your square footage, maybe. Again, very cool ship. If you guys get a chance to pick one up, you may want to do that. Uh, this, you know, while this sell's going on. Otherwise, I mean, you don't need to. You don't really know exactly what it's going to be capable of. The cargo capacity of it's going to be 96. So it can still run some cargo. It's going to run cargo uh, just as good as a Connie. Uh, most of the Connies, anyways. Not quite as good as a Freelancer Max, uh, but it's right under that for cargo capacity. Uh, and again, you can kind of, you know, if you're going to run Vice or something like that, it's going to have little compartments that you can hide that in uh, that will be somewhat shielded from the authorities' scans and prying eyes. It's got this little game room, a uh, little chess room in it, that the table will drop down and you can actually go into the little secret compartment that away. Really neat. Uh, the, the developer that's worked on it put a ton of cool stuff into it. As you can see, this Herald is just tiny in comparison. You're going to have room for one bed. You'll have this little station here that you can do all your scans and uh, pick up whatever information you need to pick up. And then you'll store it in the data banks, which are actually externally on this ship. So the drives, that the information that you'll get, you'll store externally on the Drake Herald. Whereas with the Mercury Star Runner, it'll have computers on the inside, and you'll be storing most of that information inside it, I believe. Um, so a little bit different there as well. This one's designed to, you know, jettison those pieces of cargo so let's take a situation or an example um, let's say you arrive in Stanton through the pyro jump point uh, you you are going to collect all the news of the day so you pick it up out of space or that somebody beams it to you you collect it into your data stores 
and then you go through the pyro jump point point back to pyro and you jettison these little boxes here uh, that are full of that information um, and then you pick up some more and go on about your business back through the jump point to continue receiving messages or something along those lines or you go into vandal space you collect information on troop movements and communications you encrypt it into your data file system here and then you get the heck out of dodge as fast as you can to avoid being killed by the vandal and you jump back into a friendly system and let's say the vandal follow you you can jettison your data pods so the information still gets back to uh, the good guys so that, that's some example use of the herald here example use of the mercury star runner is going to be you know it could be similar to that uh, you know but i see it and many other people see it more like a millennium falcon type ship uh, you've got some cargo capacity, you can listen in on the enemy comms or um, track troop movements or whatever. Uh, to me, it's kind of like a fly under the radar ship, and I don't mean like literally, you know, stealth wise, although I'm sure it's going to be plenty stealthy. It's one of those ships that you see it in the system and you're, you're not going to think much of it, uh, especially since the data running gameplay mechanic isn't really in the game right now but even when it's in the future you'll see that ship and you'll you won't think too much of it unless you have some sort of secret mission you're doing or uh, your your org is gathering troops something along those lines uh, then you may have to worry about seeing a star runner chances are you'll never see it uh, because it's gonna be pretty stealthy so We'll have to wait and see how that works out in 4.1 and see what kind of signature it has. Somebody actually did suggest that I do like an EM signature video where we, you know, test the stealthiness of some of the ships that are already in the game. We may end up doing that at some point. Seems like a, a good video to do. Um, but guys, uh, if you like this video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon to let you know when I do more videos. A lot of you guys haven't subscribed yet. I absolutely love the fact that you guys are tuning in to watch my videos. Hit that subscribe button, though. Um, that, you know, it helps me out a little bit and uh, helps you guys out whenever you, you want to see a new video. Uh, because it'll, I, I try to do a video every day and it should pop up on your feed. Uh, got a stream coming up on March 7th on Twitch. I, it'll be a Texas Space Navy is my handle there. So uh, we will get that going off the ground and you guys can tune in to watch that I really would appreciate any and everybody coming to support it just just even being there would be awesome uh, I, I don't have much else on the data running topic but if you guys do leave it in the comments let me know what your thoughts and feelings are about the Drake Herald the Mercury Star Runner and data running in general um, what do you see you doing with your ships as far as data running with that I'm Mud Dog of the Texas Space Navy and I'll see you out in the verse.